So you can time travel. No limits, no rules. Where are you going first? Back to fix a mistake? Meet your younger self? Or jump ahead and see how it all ends? Let's talk about why that might be more real than you think. Time isn't what we think it is. According to Einstein's relativity, time stretches and warps. The faster you go, the slower it passes for you. This is called time dilation, and it's not just theory. It's been measured. Astronauts on the International Space Station actually age a little slower than us. So technically, they've already time traveled. Just a tiny bit. Now let's talk gravity. The stronger the gravity, the slower time moves. Get close to a black hole and one hour could equal seven years back on Earth. This isn't movie magic, it's real science. And if wormholes exist, they might link distant points in space and time. Imagine leaping from today to a hundred years ago, or a thousand years ahead, in seconds. But what happens when we go back? This is where things get messy. Say you travel back and stop your parents from meeting. Do you vanish? Or does the timeline split? That's the grandfather paradox. No one has a solid answer. Some say time would fix itself. Others say you've just created a whole new reality. And then there's the butterfly effect. Step on a bug in the past and suddenly a world-changing invention never happens. Change one conversation, save one life, delay one accident, and the future could spiral into something completely different. You haven't just changed a moment. You've triggered a cascade. What if you saved JFK? Would the Cold War have ended sooner or exploded? What if Nikola Tesla's ideas had been fully funded? Would we be living in a world of clean, limitless energy? Time travel might be possible, but going back? That's the risk. You're not just a visitor. You're a variable. And every small change could lead to a massive consequence. So let me ask again. You've got the keys to time. Where are you headed first and what will you do when you get there? Let us know in the comments. And whatever you do, don't step on any butterflies. Subscribe to Existence Unknown before your time runs out.